Hi guys. Welcome to second part of the tutorial. Now let's create the music note scene. As usual, we will keep things simple. Let's be a cube mesh for now. Make it smaller little bit, set the scale. Save it. And let's add the script. Set material is simple to the note picker scene. It's based on the line number. Now go to the road scene and spawn a few notes, just for the debugging process. Let's set the default material for the note. It will be overridden by the script. Set the correct line and start the game. Set the third line number and start the game again. Looks good. Delete the spawned notes. We don't need them here anymore. Now let's create a new scene called bar. The road contains bars. And bar scene contains notes. Bar contains simple plain line in the beginning. In the game we will see that this is a new piece of road is coming. Let's test it and check how it looks in the game. We don't need it here, it was just a test, let's remove it. Let's add the bar script. The bar has notes. Each note has a position in the bar and a duration. I've hard-coded notes parameters in such way. The bar has only 4 notes and distance between them is equal 400 points. So the whole bar length is 1600 points. Why do I use such numbers? Because it's easier to calculate notes position and duration using such numbers. Now let's spawn these notes by the script function.
add position property to the note script. Also add set position function. It will set the note translation vector when note is spawned and ready. So the position field means E axis. X axis will set based on line number. Y axis is always zero, we don't use it. Let's add note scale parameter. It will convert note position to go dot meters. Here length parameter means note duration, but we don't use it now, so disable it. Back to road and spawn the bar scene just for testing. Oh, we need to fix the position direction of the notes. Now it looks good. Let's debug and fix the road length. It must be equal 8 meters. So when go.default plane has 2 meters length, and if you set scale to 8, the length will be 16 meters. Good to know this. I setting the scale to 4 and plane has 8 meters length now. Now it has 8 meters. Adjust the camera position a little bit. Nice. Let's set line number randomly. It will be 1, 2, or 3. Important. Call randomized function before number generation. Otherwise generated numbers will be same. Good. Notes lines changes every time. Now I want to set a different material to the note pickers. It will be the same as before, just without the emission.
Yes, this is what I want. You can see the note when it is on the note picker. Good. I've removed test bar from the road. I'm adding a node that will have many bars. Bars will be spawned by the script. Check out on ready keyword. It means that the script will search the node only when the scene is ready. In this case it never be null. You can find the note inside of ready function or use this on ready keyword. The script works. It adds three bars to the road. Notes in the bars have random line position. Let's move the bars. Now I want to add new bars and remove bars that is not visible anymore. Let's keep only 4 bars on the road. As you can see new bars are added automatically.
Check out this feature. When game is running, press remote tab. Here you can inspect the game in runtime. It's very useful for the debugging. I can see all spawned bars. The count of the bars is always 4. That means that bars are deleted in proper way.